So hi Jackie, uh, what was it led you to sign up to be part of this Cambodian school building team? Okay, well I'd seen a few of your projects before and what I really liked about this particular project was it had, it was very condensed, it had a beginning, middle and end uh, and I knew you'd had lots of success in previous things and I knew you to be a very good organiser. So I was drawn to working with you and with the team that you pulled together and I thought it would be developmental as well as um, very fulfilling. And having been to some of your workshops on um, enabling your business to make an impact, I thought, well, what better impact would there be than this? So I was very excited to be part of the team. Yeah, no, and it was brilliant to have you on the team. So for you, how did you find the experience at, through the fundraising process and all the prep that we did? Yeah, um, it was very organised. Um, for me the fundraising uh, was made a little easier uh, because I had my 60th birthday come up uh, and I truly don't need anything so I said to my lovely friends please make a donation so that really kick-started my own personal um, uh, funds to get me going uh, and then as time went on um, I was pretty busy so I just decided that Drawn to Learn wanting it to be uh, something that Dawn to Learn did for impact, uh, I decided that just to match the funds that I'd raised through my friends, uh, through my company. So that worked very well for me. Brilliant. And I have to ask you, how did you feel yesterday when we went to the school yeah. and we saw the school that we'd all raised the funds to build? It was breathtaking. From the moment we pulled up and realised that there was a pathway of children standing to welcome us in, in line that took the whole pathway all the way up to the school, knowing that every single one of those children was going to get an education, a better education, and in some cases, an education because of what we had done as a team and our partnering with the other organizations. It was just, I felt tears spring to my eyes. And then as the day went on, uh, and we had some contact with the children and we got to see the classrooms, we got to see how pristine the building is, how functional it is, how well built it is. It really struck me that actually in less than a year, because the school was up and running, this team brought together enough funds and you researched and found enough expertise on the ground to make this the slickest operation. I, I, I couldn't believe it. Um, so, overwhelmed, one of the happiest days of our lives, both Alistair, my husband and I both think that, and you know, hats off to you Alison, you really kept yourself going, and I know it wasn't always easy for you, you kept yourself going, you kept us going, and you deserve every bit of fulfilment and accolade and recognition that you get from this. You were an inspiration. Thank you, Jack. What would you say to anybody that is thinking of doing something like this or coming on one of my future trips? Mm. Well, I'd say they're going to be very, very lucky because you now totally know the ropes. It's going, it was slick with us, but it, I think we polished with your next group. Uh, I think you've done further research. I think you've found further opportunities. And I think you've developed your thinking on what that experience might be like. Um, so I, I would say, wholeheartedly to my friends who have an interest or anybody out there so this is a very personally developmental uplifting experience um, and you know instead of going to Tenerife or going and lying on a beach somewhere how about you do something totally amazing like this you're still going to have a lie down you're still going to get a tan you're still going to feel amazing but you're going to leave a legacy that's going to last oh, maybe a hundred years so I'd say go for it.